Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, this is Ethical Hacking Training and we are actually going over labs and uh, this is uh, the third lab and in this lab I just want to go over something quickly with you guys which you should know about. I would I would say like a tool and this is, uh, well, I've opened up Firefox so uh, basically this is uh, gathering information about a target website using a tool which Firefox or a or add-on which Firefox has and that is basically your uh, um, firebug add-on right so how to get to that so we're talking about fire bug all right uh, so if you just uh, go and this uh, in this case I've just downloaded Firefox and uh, I uh, it comes with Yahoo as a search engine. I did Firebug as a search. So first is how to get Firebug, right? So you click on Firebug, do a search on Firebug, click on Firebug, and it says install Firebug. Another way to do it here is that if you go to your uh, menu on uh, Firefox, the three lines on the left hand side, and basically you click on add-ons, right? When you go to the add-on screen uh, for search, just, uh, just put Firebug. All right, and then hit enter. So this basically gets you Firebug as a tool. Uh, you click on install, and uh, what it does is, if you look on top right here, it uh, it has uh, given you uh, a, uh, an install uh, for the Firebug, and it is basically like a bug. Uh, it's not turned on right now, uh, but once you click on it, it'll it'll turn on, right? So let's uh, let's try to uh, do something interesting here. Uh, Oh, got it. So let's go to let's visit you know some website and see if we can uh, if we can uh, kind of uh, use Firebug and I can show you how how it is uh, basically uh, what are the strengths of this tool right. So as a security analyst, ethical hacker, you need to know this tool. Again, tool is called Firebug, and uh, uh, I've installed the uh, the add-on, the latest version two dot zero dot sixteen. Uh, and uh, basically uh, this tool is uh, pretty neat it lets you do a lot of cool stuff uh, in terms of you know what you want to do uh, when knowing about a particular website or when you want to see the details which are not uh, which are which you, you need more details than the view source how about that and you can manipulate those details also uh, so that you uh, you can change certain things and see expected outputs and and so forth right so uh, the tool again is Firebug, and then uh, uh, it's basically an add-on. Uh, this uh, little bit history on the tool is that uh, it was uh, written in January 2006. It's a free open source tool, and of course it, it's, uh, it's for uh, monitoring your uh, custom style sheets, the CSS, HTML, your document object model, your uh, uh, JavaScript, uh, uh, f uh, files and calls and also your XHR that is your XML HTTP requests which go over the wire and it can be used for your HTTP and HTTPS also all right enough talk so let's uh, let's open up uh, a website here uh, let's go to I would say what website do you want to go to uh, let's open Microsoft or how about, uh, I want something with the Amazon. Yeah, amazon.com, let's go to amazon.com. So Amazon has got lots of information. You can, uh, you, can you know, uh, see like different products. You can do all of that, right? So I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna show you how Firebug is used and you know, what are the main things about Firebug. So we are on the home page of a website, and it could be any website for that matter. So here I just click through, and this gives me enough information. If I do search, let's do search on uh, um, let's do search on what uh, books. Let's do hacking and hacking tools in books, right? So this gives us a good uh, list of you know books which are out there, and. Uh, you can basically uh, look at uh, clothes. Like, let's do like something interesting. Uh, uh, just do uh, styles. Then uh, let's do 
Move it. All right. So this gives us like you know we had books and I just wanted to change all all departments and then this will give us you know some something more interesting uh, to look at. Yeah. So these are some bags and so forth, right? So any search, I'm just trying to like you know get a search which has got more uh, more values to it and which is more interesting, I would say. So now again back to Firebug. So suppose uh, this is the first search. Now you want to know it's a little bit about this particular, and you want to change it around. So you just right click on it, and you can say inspect element with Firebug, right? Also you can launch Firebug by clicking on this right here. But best way is like whatever you want to look at, you can do that. So this relevance thing. So if I right click on it and say inspect element in Firebug. What it does is it on the bottom, if you notice, it launched Firebug for me. And if you, if I move my mouse on any of these, you see on top how it is uh, highlighting the elements. So basically, now you have, you are not only into the view source, but it also gives you more than that. The styles used uh, are out here, and of course, you can you can go in and uh, and change some stuff around also, right? So out here, if I say, oh, you know what, uh, there is a, I'll just, if I wanted like to say, right click, and uh, I can copy these styles, uh, I can, you know, uh, I can uh, paste them as HTML. I can also add stuff to it, like add, uh, add children to it. I can inspect them in dome panel, use command line, and this adding, I'm not changing their website just to let you know. It's not local, right? You're just adding it locally. You're just playing with it and just seeing what would be the uh, uh, what would be the result of this, right? And here I'm trying to like just change some stuff around, and you can like deface on your own. I mean, this is just I'm not changing anything on the uh, Amazon site. This is the, you're just playing around with all the different you know uh, different priorities, uh, like say price low to high. I'll just say uh, min, uh, sort of edit this, hold on, uh, right click, edit HTML, and uh, and I can just say price uh, min to high, right? And once this is done, uh, I can I can go in here, and it says min to high, right? So whatever I did changes, so it's basically and high to low so basically i can i can just say price equals to uh, uh, high and then uh, and up here it just says high so you can you can make this kind these kind of changes which are pretty interesting you can do more crafty thing also if you say suppose uh, if you want to like you know change and see if there's ex extra values which are there and you could uh, if there's some numbers down here you can change those numbers and you know and try to see if that works uh, these are all techniques when when you're looking at uh, from an ethical hacking perspective all right so let's let's quickly go over some of the things which this tool gives you one is of course now you know uh, that you can right click and uh, and say inspect the element another thing which you can do is suppose you're on any page right let's click into uh, this first thing that is a fashion bag so now here you can uh, i'm trying to scroll down uh, i'm not trying to click but scroll down uh, so let's scroll down here uh, I'm trying to like you know get out of the firebug mode because firebug literally wants to like you know capture everything what i'm doing so here i'll say oh you know what i like this bag better uh let me go here uh now i want to know i want to see some elements so i want to just look at say this part you know let's look at html how this is made and so forth so i can just click on this uh, arrow with the box which says click an element in the page to inspect just click on it uh go on the page see how it starts highlighting the elements and it also tells you like which this element is wrapped under the master element so if, if you look at the html it's div id center column so the whole column has one single div and everything else is wrapped under that div these are all small divs labels so you can basically go and see oh okay this is where it comes in so now you see this all thing is wrapped under one div called variant color name right and class so if i click on this lets me go go up here and it lets me see like you know oh, what all information is here and you can see the styles uh, you can you know go and you know uh, even 
actually you can even go and change colors down here if you want uh, i mean you can change much more but easy thing to do uh for this particular demo would be like you know, just change colors or uh, or you know any other information which you want for for this particular element right so this kind of gives you a good idea that uh, how you can you know play with this how you can install firebug uh, as an add-on you know basically it shows up here uh, oh another thing is you can also do uh, uh, let me just go through this menu uh, and you will come to know so now you know that you, you can change stuff around you can you know uh, change the fonts you can change you know any kind of information you want just right click on it and and, uh, and basically change it right so like here there's a color uh, body color and i if i say red here uh, uh, hold on sorry uh, just gonna right click on it and edit color so now it can i can basically give a hex value right so let's do uh, fg 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 and uh, let's see what it does uh, so basically you, you are i don't know if it did anything or not but you get the idea right so I think so I uh, what I changed was not what was it, what was it, uh, it kind of filtered it out uh, but you do get a, get an idea of you know you can basically go and manipulate and colors color is something which you would not change usually I did, I did the body color change and I think the so body is, has a lot of wrappers on it so that's why you cannot just see the color effect right away but if I would have done something uh, like just gone into this particular section and uh, and it has some classes down here. It has some font family um, there, and here you can you can act, you can actually change some fonts, like turn them off. And in this particular case, it says, "Oh, it's using class A A dash uh, uh, list item class." That's what it's using. You can go into styles, and then you can use colors as hex. You can also change like how you want to see the colors, right? Or you want to do RGB colors, it'll just start changing those. Uh, very neat, very cool, uh, especially when you want to drill down into certain uh, the HTML part of the tool. Okay, now HTML part, you know, CSS part. As I said, you can you can see the CSS part, and you can you know do a lot of things. You can uh, you can edit uh, height here, and I can make a height of like you know say 400 pixels. 400 px remember to put px otherwise it'll start giving errors and stuff so i don't know which one did i change to but this was the hidden navigation so you did not see where, where it got changed but uh but you can do some nifty stuff like that you know so here i went down here uh, and you can then uh, edit sources you can do live edits also so like you know like basically it'll it'll turn on live editing for you where you could just simply go click and edit click and edit you know which is pretty easy and nifty, I would say, for uh, for people who are trying to simply see uh, uh, certain result sets. You know, another cool thing which it does is it exposes you to the uh, to the different uh, JavaScript uh, of the particular page, also, right? So let's now click on one of these bags down here. Let's change the search to something else. I would say let's do clothing, women, uh, and let's see what other what is happening down. Uh, whenever you change it the doc document object model the dorm you know it, it also rebuilds and you know it gives you all the information the net this shows you how the network traffic has been uh is been uh working and uh, basically it tells you like how much time it's been taking for each of the uh, each of the parts to load uh what is the html it breaks it down into the html time like you know how many milliseconds if you want to see like you know what is loading faster what is loading uh, later uh, again the H, the css part of it like how what is what is the load time on different css elements and different css files javascript uh, they're using multiple javascript files which everybody uses these days xhr that those are basically your uh, xml http requests which have been made so each time sometimes you know page have some hidden requests where the page does not even refresh uh, so it'll you know try to do uh, all those things also so if i say add to cart let's see what happens well it just changed the page i was hoping that it'll just uh, not change the page but anyhow so you get the idea with with this it tells you see it's building up it tells you like okay uh, what all different pages are there uh, how they are being built uh, 
see a uh, uh, call just came in and there's some countries stuff going on too i don't know what that is but uh, that's more proprietary so we can see okay what happened here uh, it's redirecting and uh, it's getting some information and you can then see the packet information also you can see what all uh, information it got and uh, for that matter you can see the post information uh, what it what it did for that particular bag the sources uh, what, what were the source for it then also you can see the response which which came back uh, a lot of the times when it is wrapped uh, responses are not there in this case html uh, cache and cookies part so if there are any cookies received it'll give you basically all the cookie information the value uh, and then you can you know dig a little bit deeper into the cookie and get some other information about the cookie like session id hit all that stuff so Basically, this is a tool when, when you want to drill down into as much information you want uh, about a particular web page and it, it'll give you like, you know, the details where, which will help you to uh, get to the bottom of like, hey, uh, what is going on, like, you know, what are the different uh, types of uh, uh, requests which is making, if you want to change something on the fly. Uh, and uh, and use this tool in your uh, in your basically your ethical hacking practices. All right. I hope uh, you uh, you enjoyed uh, watching this video and uh, going through Firebug and uh, using it for uh, for uh, your inspect uh, and also for debugging purposes. Uh, I will I would recommend that you go on the website. There's an introduction to firewall video down here, which will also give you some little bit more deeper uh, you know kind of. Uh, uh, insight about the tool and then of course I recommend to read the document section which basically uh, walks you through all the different uh, parts of Firebug and uh, what is Firebug it also tells you like how you can use it for different elements if you're doing network monitoring versus uh, uh, JavaScript uh, debugging and so forth all right all right great uh, thanks for joining and uh, I will uh, see you in the next lab all right bye bye